You said you wanted to walk. Oh, come on now, honey, come on. Leave me alone. Look, you want to walk, walk. I'm thinking. Look, I know you're hurting. That's why you've got to walk. Please, Juan, come on. Please. Leave me alone, man. Excuse me. The buildings have no numbers. This is the right street, but I can't find this number. Who are you looking for? Richard Lopez. Right, right over there. Uh, you know him? Oh, yes. Everybody knows him. The uh, Barrio Rehabilitation Center. Uh, right there, where the light is. Many thanks. Richard is my sister's son. I'm Ben. I come from Fresno. Richard and me, we're going to business together. Yeah, yeah, he will be great as a letter speaker. No, senor, a real business. Mm, yeah. I have money, my savings. We'll have our own business together. Muchas gracias. Go home, okay? Juan, Juan, please let him go. Come on, please, Juan. Oh, shut up, just please. go home, oh, man. Juan, Juan, please let him go. Stop, thief, ladrón! Help somebody! Help! Uncle Ben! Ricardo! Hurry, it is our money for you. How, how did one know that, that you had money? I needed help. I mentioned it. What man would do this? Oh, the police, Richard. No, Uncle. That is the one thing that I will not do. Insight. Stories of spiritual conflict in the 20th century. The American genius has been the ability to assimilate different races and cultural traditions. We have well been called the melting pot. Our national life is a rich tapestry of interwoven cultural strands. English, French, German, African, Indian, Latin, Polish, Italian, Jewish, to mention only a few. E pluribus unum, from the many, one. We are one people, and we have one culture. But that one culture is richer because it's composed of many cultural strands. And it will grow and become still richer only if the strands of which it is composed can continue to flourish. Assimilation does not mean cultural obliteration. There is not only room in America for diversity, there's a need for it. Our Spanish-speaking brothers have a great contribution to make to our national life. Their capacity to feel deeply and to suffer with dignity, their reverence for the family, their sense of human community, are cultural characteristics we can all envy. They have soul. We need that. Our national life would be impoverished without it. Oh, uh, yeah, I told you it was Juan Torres. Man, you know where to look for a junkie. Right, see what you can find out. Yeah, I'll check with you later. This man who stole the money, he's a friend? Well, he's a Chicano, he's a brother. Who steals from his own people? The police. Oh, not the Anglos. We'll handle this ourselves. I'll, I'll find him. And if he spends the money before you find him, the police, Ricardo. No, uncle, do you know what we do in this office? Like welfare? No, not like welfare. We don't give or take handouts. We help ourselves. Now, every day, Chicano people walk through that door because they need help, because they need something to eat or a place to stay, or maybe because they're high on drugs and they want to kick the habit. Everything we do here is confidential so they can trust us to help them. Let them get jobs. I wash dishes. I was a janitor. I saved my money, money to be stolen by some thief. 
You were able to settle for less without breaking, but we will not settle, Uncle. Okay. Okay. Oh. So that's what you do. Oh. Maybe it's good. But I want my money back. And that's the job for the police. Uncle, Juan is in our program. Now we get him arrested and we will have a chance to help him again. Ricardo, remember when you were a little boy, we spoke about the mechanic shop? How you wanted to build cars and drive them? Yeah, yeah. I say for that, for us. I was carrying $3,000. Rosa, you must know where he goes. You must have some idea. Oh, to find his pusher. He'll be shooting up until he runs out of money, and then he'll come back. And I'll watch him. I'll watch him sweat and, and climb up the walls. And he'll promise until the next time. What can I do? I love him. I will wait and believe. Rosa, he can shoot a long time what he has. Do you know how much money there was? Three thousand dollars. Pusher. Oh, Rudy, this is my Uncle Ben. Why not? You wait here. Uh, hola. ¿En qué puedo ayudarlos? Where is this, Sergio? Look, uh, tell us. <laughs> what? Uh, you guys are going to turn me in? stop you from killing any more of my people. Now, where is Juan? See who just came in? How would you like me to tell him that you just finished dealing to Juan? <coughs> you guys don't scare me. I, I am clean. Officer Davis will consider carrying a little of grass in your packet as being very unclean. Ricardo, Juan came and scored by himself. Uh, Rafa's was with him. So cool it up. Please. When you get busted, I want him to bust you for the hard stuff. I want you away for a long, long time. Richard, Rudy, what's with Sergio? Oh, just trying to get him to quit. Let's go. Who's your friend? Uh, this is my uncle, Ben. This is Detective uh, Davis. You're a policeman? Narcotics. Then why didn't he arrest all these people? He has to uh, catch them first. And they're never holding. They stash it and let the buyers pick it up. They're very clever. Then what could can you do here? That's a question a lot of people ask. Richard doesn't like cops. He thinks all Anglos are enemies. But if seeing me here can keep one junkie from connecting, can keep the pushers from dealing, then it's worth it. I could do a lot better with cooperation. Look, you, uh, you give us our own police, we cooperate. They think all the police are against them. Well, I want to clean up this barrio just like Richard here. I'm here to scare them out of starting. 
He reminds the hypes that there's a way out because he served time for narcotics and kicked it. Well, anyway, we both keep trying. I'll see you. Is this true? You were in jail? Why didn't you tell me? Look, Uncle, you always wanted the best for me. I couldn't tell you. Then you're the same as these, these people, Ricardo. This one, that's why you're protecting him. Oh, you don't understand the police. In the barrio, they're like an army occupation. You deal with them and you're a traitor. Sobrino, no te comprendo. Well, I'll explain to you later. I don't have time now. Now, listen, you cover Juan's bed and I'll go to see Rafa's. Yeah. Wait for me at the office, Uncle. You want something? It's late. It's never too late for friends. It's not with you, Gino. Gino? You uh, want something? Well, my friends are having Coke. This is big jail time for you on this one. Don't talk like that. You sound like a pig. Look, my uncle works a long years for that bread, and you try to be a big man with it. Are your friends going to come see you on visiting days? Lean off, Ricardo. Don't make waves. You got hung up once. You still got time to get out in the world. Look, you got Rosa. You got a kid coming. You still have time to be clean, man. Just, just, just let it. Let it go, man. Oh, the police don't know. Just give me what you have left, and it will be cool. Hey, you need the money for a fix, huh? <laughs> hey, Fred! You still got time. Split, man! Unless you want us to start treating you like a pig. Hey, 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 just... Just leave, man. I... I, I, don't, I don't want no trouble for you. Cool, cool. Look, I'll be at the office. Mm. But this is a chance for you, and it's the only chance you're gonna get. Ah, uh, cut, man! Right now! Just remember those three years in jail, and this time it could be for life, unless you're lucky enough to kill yourself first on an overdose. Get out! Juan. Juan! I'll be at the office, waiting. Ricardo Show? I haven't seen him. He weren't with his punks from a jail. His friends. He lied to me. He said he was in the army. He lied. Oh, for you. He didn't want you to be, to be ashamed. I am ashamed. I will stay until I earn bus fare to Fresno. I have friends there. I will work as a janitor, dishwasher, the things my nephew hates. Oh, you don't know what's happening here. You don't realize what Ricardo is trying to do. I know what he has done. I see how he fights against the police, the ones who keep the law, make things safe. He fights them to protect those who rob. No sign of him. I found them at Rafa's. What about the money? I hope he'll bring him back. You hope? What hope do you have against such a man? Sometimes all we have left is hope. You just have to trust. You trust? What about me? When I came here, I trusted you with the money. But you put your trust in these, these criminals. These criminals are Chicanos, uncle. They were raised the same way that I was. They were taught in English when all we can understand was Spanish. You know, where the, where the Anglo school teacher would call us stupid and lazy. So I follow up the expectations, and I dropped out, and I was free. I tried everything. I wanted to be like the Anglos on television. But I forgot, man, that the Chicanos on television are all bandidos, right? Just sleepy men under their sombreros. I tried everything. Everything they let a Chicano do. Box boy, bus boy, Delivery boy. Oh, Uncle, I was a good boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. And they even told me so, like it was a big miracle. But whenever they had anybody to let go, sorry, boy, the Anglos stayed. You 
You start to hate them. And you want to crush them and you want to break them. But you only break yourself. Because they don't hurt. <laughs> they got this, this shiny white shell around them. And then you think, wow, maybe, wow, maybe they're right. Maybe, maybe I'm not damn good. Only dope can vomit up that hate. Yeah, drugs. So dope, you sleep, you eat, you shoot. And then you don't feel anything. Huh? But of course, to keep it up, you gotta have the bread, right? So you go out and steal, or you hustle, you kill. Break the law. Break the Anglo law. Prison. Now you're an animal with a number and nothing. Don't talk, don't walk, don't eat. The, the, the guards humiliate you, they beat you. Now the blacks hate you because you're almost white, and the whites hate you because you're almost black. Oh, you can't fight the system forever. So you give up and you hate yourself. That's what you learn. And when they let you out, well, you're lazy, you're, you're uneducated, an ex-addict, a thief. And you can see it on their faces, the police and the men who will not hire you. And the people at the welfare office, that woman there who hands us the form that you have just signed, like, like you put germs on it. There's only another one route left. Drugs again and back to prison. One man changed that pattern for me. He trusted. You know something, man? <laughs> he was an Anglo. Harry Carter. He was a man who was, who was helping around in the neighborhood, and I figured, you know, it was another Anglo con, another humiliation. But I figured that I could get a handout from him. But I didn't. I got a job. He helped me organize this center. We started by, by begging the local store owners for money. And Harry insisted that I handle the money with my record. He said, he said, a man's got to believe in himself before he can believe in anyone or anything. And he said, there's nothing I can do. I can do anything for the Chicanos. Only the Chicanos can help themselves. was the first man who ever trusted me. Knowing me, he trusted me. Where is this man? He got knifed by a kid who was hurting for a fix. The killer got 73 cents. And when he was lying on the floor, Harry begged the police to press charges, man. Uncle, look, I don't know if you're gonna get your money back. All I know is that the only way for me to reach Juan is to trust him.
Hello? Yeah. Juan. I promise you. It'll be cool. Whatever's left. You just bought a great present for your kid. All right. He's bringing the money back, Uncle. I don't know how much you spend on drugs, but you'll get the rest. You keep late hours, Ricardo. Better put in for overtime. You had us staked out? What was the phone call? Ah, uh, yeah, it was the wrong number. Oh, come on, guys. Your uncle here told me all about Juan. At the bar, when I heard about the jail, I thought you were on their side. I'm sorry, Ricard. Now, what about Juan? What do you know that I don't? All I know is that we can't find him. Uh, someone said he left town. Look, you know I'm here to help. I appreciate what you guys are trying to do. But there comes a time when it becomes police business. He could be armed, freaked out. He could kill. I know how to handle him. So come on, fellas. Tell me what's up, huh? What was the phone call about? Oh, come on, guys. Look, I promise I'll go easy on him. He gives the old man his money back. He promises to stay clean. I'll go easy. We don't know nothing. Don't let these guys scare you. It's your money, you know. My nephew knows him. I gotta let him try. Well, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry you're willing to let a dangerous criminal run around loose. But I can't do a thing without cooperation. Well, it's almost time for my shift to be over anyway. Oh, let me know how it all turns out, huh? That I promise you. Good night. He's not a bad man. Neither is Juan. To be any kind of a man, to have pride, you get your head smashed. Now, dignity is expensive, and that's what I'm trying to sell here. You sell dignity, and they buy drugs and go to jail. That's right, but I don't want Juan to go through that again. Now, I spent five years to find out about prison. Oh, uncle, it's all a circle with our people. It all starts in the streets. Now, to breathe, you got to push the man. So you push the man, and you got to go to jail. Now, when you get out, you can use the trade they teach you, because because nobody wants you. So you're out on the streets, and you got to breathe. So you push the man like a lousy pig. Call Rafa. Make sure that Juan doesn't come over. What is it, Ricardo? What's happening? What's happening? I got him sucked into a trap. That's what's happening. Juan, hold it. Oh, my God. Juan, it's OK. Don't move. Davis, you got nothing on him. Hands in the air and don't move. Juan, do as he says. He can't charge you now. Uh, I, I, Juan, I, go. I, I, oh. Juan, damn you! You set me up, man. No, 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 I swear. I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know. Tell me. Tell me, bro. You stay out of it. Why? Why? He was reaching for a gun. You can't trust a junkie. Is 
this yours? I'll need it as evidence. The money will be returned to you. Forgive me. I did this. <laughs> Don't blame yourself, Uncle. It happened before he was born. Insight is a production of the Paulist Fathers, a group of Catholic priests who serve their God by serving those outside their church.